Look who I get to train today. It's Mama Bear. Doing her glute warm up with the how much you bench hip circle. Getting ready to kill it. First day back from her glorious vacation. Look at the pretty baby. This is the new son of one of my clients. He's about 11 weeks old and he just hangs out in the gym, squirms around, and spits out his pacifier. And then you gotta put it back in. Come here. And the squirming stops. It's like clockwork. Look how freaking cute he is. Oh man, bringing a new, new human being onto this earth is just, just a beautiful thing. Just finished up the morning sessions today. It's Wednesday, um, middle of the week, and all sessions went well. Now I'm about to go and get my chiropractic adjustment, which I'll take you guys with me. And I wanted to show you my two best employees, AKA, Pops, look at that stance right there with the mop and everything. I'm your maintenance man. That's and so he's uh, he's in here getting this place nice and clean. And then I got my mama over here, hard at work after her workout. She didn't even care about eating anything. She worked out hard and she goes right to work cleaning the bathrooms and stuff like that. So, she's the best. So I got the two best employees in the world, AKA my parentes. That's my Spanish for the day. But, nonetheless, let's keep this day going. All right, just made it to the chiropractor. About to go in, get a quick adjustment. Usually takes us about five minutes. Uh, get in, get out, and get on with the day. Team. Just got home and I wanted to share with you guys a couple packages I just got in the mail. So the first one being is one that I ordered myself and this is called the Sun Bliss. So uh, what we know is an alarm clock does not work well with taking you out of uh, a deep sleep. So if you get abrupt, abruptly woken up during your deep sleep, you are more susceptible I mean you're gonna feel sluggish you're not gonna feel refreshed and what we know is if you're able to be eased out of deep sleep into you back into your room and and eased into the waking up process you wake up more refreshed and ready to go and so what we know is that that happens with the gradual process of the Sun coming up in the morning and how I can translate that in a dark room that has uh, blackout curtains is a sun bliss alarm clock. So I can set the time and within 30 minutes of me waking up, the light will slowly start to show and it'll simulate the sun rising. So if you guys know me, I love gum. And when this company reached out to me about their gum, I was like, all right. And so I looked more into them and holy crap. So you see all that? go over all this holy moly this is gonna be fun so what they do is they make this amazing sugar-free gum in many different flavors you have s'mores coconut lime kettle pop uh, front porch lemonade red velvet cupcake American pie birthday cake cookie dough, wedding cake, grapefruit melon, oh, rainbow ice, holy guacamole, I love gum, oh, strawberry margarita, holy moly, and wow, so Project 7, thank you so freaking much. I'm so excited. I will, oh, peppermint vanilla. It, 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 it just keeps coming, it just keeps coming. Uh, but I'm going to keep you guys updated with how these are. I'm gonna 
probably give a taste test on every single one of these flavors on my Insta story. So make sure you watch that. But in but real talk though, I FYM apparel. Do it for the pizza. It's freaking hugging the sleeves, man. Ryan, you're the man. I'm actually gonna make a low carb veggie stuffed quesadilla with um, pepper jack cheese this time. So I'll show you what that looks like here in a bit. And how I'm gonna make these quesadillas is I'm gonna use one whole of these Joseph's Lavish Breads. I mean, the absolute most macro-friendly wrap that you will ever find. And so what I'm gonna do is I got a whole one right here. I'm going to fold it in half this way. And what I'm gonna do is slice it with a pizza cutter in half two equal sides. So now I'm gonna use these as my quesadillas. So how I'm gonna make these quesadillas is I'm gonna to toast one side. So I'm gonna to toast the bottom of one side and then I'm gonna add stuff to the inside and then just toast the other so I don't have to do the flip and make a mess. Alrighty, so now we have the one side as you can see, is toasted, the other side is not. I'm gonna leave this side untoasted. And so what I'm gonna do is keep it like this, keep it out, and then what I'm gonna do is add the toppings to the bottom. So what I want the top to be, this is gonna be the top. So I'll add whatever I want on top, first on the bottom, and then I'll flip it over, and then get the other side, and then we're good to go. So I'm gonna do that with the other side. I just want you to look at that. Just listen to it. Oh yeah. And we have the massive egg white patty. The moment of truth comes when I try to do all of this with one hand. Wait for it, oh man, oh man. Alrighty, so here are the elements. We have the two quesadillas. We have the fried runny egg. We have the egg white patties. And we have the sriracha. But what is the end product going to look like? Only time will tell. And what the inside finished product looks like. Look at the broccoli and pepper, pepper jack cheese quesadillas with that runny egg and those egg white patties. Wow. And because I know the question is going to be asked, how the heck do you eat something like that? Well, here we have the bite, and let's see how this goes. All right, don't judge me if this goes all over my face, but this is how I do. We don't mess around in the streets. Look at that. See if it'll focus. I got goodies falling everywhere. I'll take another bite for good measure. Mmm. It's all in my face. I don't care. I don't care. It's so good. What is that? Is that a protein dessert crunch wrap? But what's gonna be inside of it? So here we have the Fruity Pebble Cheesecake Protein 
prone trap. See if I can make it focus. Let's look at that. Come on. Focus, 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 focus. There we go. Look at that. And then you come back, and I'm going to take a bite. Which is so, look at it, it's solid, it doesn't flop around. Want to hear it hit the plate, how heavy it is? Yeah. FDL book of recipes, 2.0, update coming soon. 130 macro friendly recipes like this one. Game changer. And when you have those extra carbs to play with before you hit legs. Look at that. Just look at that. That vanilla froyo and that Walden Farm strawberry on top of that crunch wrap. Alrighty, so today's training session started with three sets of five on back squat with a belt. And then was followed by a set of eight and a set of twelve. So my Three sets of five today were at 265, and then I hit my set of eight at 245, and then my set of 12 at 225. Squats have been feeling pretty heavy. I've been hanging, hovering around this body weight about 153 to 155 for a little while, and so um, I can't wait to, to kind of put a little bit more weight on me and have them feel better. And then we went on to some sumo deadlifts belt lifts with, the, with straps, three sets of 10, and these felt pretty crappy. My hips were shooting up. I was losing the integrity of my spine, and I just did not like how they felt at all. Uh, but, and nonetheless, something to work on. I just need to make sure I'm actively pulling the bar against my shins. Uh, right now, I'm just kind of just yanking it. I'm just trying to get it done, and I just did not like how they looked at all. And they did not feel strong at all, so this was 295. And so I, I mean, they just not, they didn't feel as good as they normally did. And um, you can obviously see why, because my hips were shooting up. I was very frustrated with those. Uh, then we moved on to some safety squat bar walking lunges, 20 total steps. And on the bar, uh, the safety squat bar weighs 65 pounds. And so on the bar, I had two 25s on each side. And so this was a 165 pounds for 20 steps. I did three sets of 20 steps. And these were, these are, these have been an exercise that I've actually pretty much, I've enjoyed and I've progressed on while, um, while this diet has gone on and I'm happy of how I've progressed in these. So they, uh, they've gone well. It requires a lot of stability in the, in the core and a lot strong, powerful steps. So you can see I drive through with my knee up, trying to be an athlete and make sure I stay tight and have my knee tracking my pinky toe. The whole time. I love doing these with the safety squat bar. It just allows me to really hit it hard. And then we moved on to four sets of 15 of the glute ham race. If you're not doing these for your hamstrings, I don't know what you're doing. Uh, these are absolutely amazing. Uh, the, the, the feeling you get on that high hamstring to mid hamstring is unbelievable, the contraction. And so I finished these up, and after I got done with these, I hit uh, a little bit of leg press, leg extensions, uh, and some abs after that. And that was the end of the workout. And so in this next clip, you're going to see how sweet a sock game is. And of course, got to show off the sock game today. Got the ice cream cones on. Ice cream cone elites. All right, as a snack in between sessions, I gave this Mission chocolate chip cookie dough bar a try. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. And so it literally tastes like a bland Tootsie Roll with like bland chocolate chips in it. Pretty basic. Honestly, it's not very good. Set, go. Yeah. That'll be. Go, Brooks. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. 
on, check my footwork. Check my footwork. Finish, finish, finish. That a baby. All right, Brooke, so if you learned one thing new every single day, one thing every single day of the year, how many new things will you learn a year? 365. Okay. Doesn't everybody know that? Nope. Drive those feet, Brooks. Drive those feet, Brooks. Don't ever let anybody call you slow twitch. Good. Now switch around. Let's go. Mind right. Get your mind right. Arm straight. Arm straight. Arm straight. Arm straight. Let's go, baby. Rylan, be ready to go. Right into it, Rylan. Let's go. Don't let big brother outshine you. Don't let big brother outshine you. Come on, drive those feet, baby. Drive those feet. Good job, Rylan. Think of all the eight-year-olds in this world that aren't working as hard as you. You're gonna do great things, my friend. Let's go. Drive those feet, let's go, let's go. No one's gonna outwork you. That a baby, give me some. Just got home from the gym for the night. Uh, I'm about to make some dinner. It's about 7.30, but I actually came home to a package. And this package is from the Great Low Carb Bread Company. Uh, they reached out and they wanted to send me some of their uh, their products, so I said okay. So what they sent me was one loaf. So if you can see that, which one's the top? What's the top? This is the top. One loaf of their th thin sliced everything bread. So what the serving size is is two slices and it's 60 calories per two slices, three grams of fat, eight grams of carbs, seven of those carbs coming from dietary fiber, and seven grams of protein. Not too shabby at all. Uh, not so they also sent me six of their bagels, their everything bagel. So as you can see, and it's one bagel, and the, um, the macros are uh, well, 120 calories, six and a half grams of fat, 16 grams of carbs, 14 of those carbs coming from dietary fiber, and 14 grams of protein. So, not too bad. You guys know I'm kind of a stickler with fiber because I already get a ton of fiber in, during the day, but definitely going to be fitting all these into my macros. These are legit. And then, last we have, they sent me some fettuccine, some pasta. So. There's four servings in this whole bag, and one serving is 100 calories, one gram of fat, 25 grams of carbs, but 18 grams of fiber coming, uh, well, 18 of, of the 25 are fiber, and 12 grams of protein. So, thank you, Great Low Carb Company. Appreciate it, I will definitely be fitting these in. You guys will, will definitely see these and what I make of these, so. So, tonight's dinner comes in the form of these pimped out rice cakes. Yeah with sliced tomato and pan fried zucchini on top and my wonderful cheese sauce which can be made and I will show you in a second but just admire how good that looks and a big side of veggies lettuce, spinach, sauteed broccoli and green peppers to put on every single one of these bites. One question I've been getting a lot, uh, especially people watching my Instagram stories, is how the heck do you make that cheese sauce? So like if you saw in the earlier clip, my, my rice cakes talked with that cheese sauce. How do you make that? Well, I'm gonna show you exactly how I do that. So I take these, this right here. This is the game changer. This is the Great Value Classic Alfredo. Per, per one serving is only three and a half fat and it's 62 grams, that's a lot. And most uh, of these Alfredo sauces are probably about seven to eight grams of fat. So this is the base. So I use two servings of this. And then this is the variable, depending on what you're looking for and how much fat you have and what flavor you're looking for. If I'm looking for a lower fat option, I'll use, or fat free, 
I'll use either a cream cheese while I put one ounce in there, or I'll use some of this pepper jack cheese while I put two slices. I'll use the sharp cheddar or the uh, pepper jack fat free, or I'll, I'll put uh, one serving of the fat free cheddar in there. And this is all going into a little saucepan that's going to be cooked on medium to a boil. And if I have a little bit more fat, I'll throw two of these in here. And then if I have a lot of fat, I'll throw some, some of the full fat, extra sharp cheddar, uh, premium natural cheddar cheese, the Cabot. This stuff's nine grams, this is full fat, nine grams of fat per one ounce, not throwing an ounce in there. This stuff is freaking delicious, but I love my whole legs, so I use most of my fats for that. But then you throw that in a medium heat, let it come to a uh, broil, and then you have a nice cheese sauce. You mix it around and put that on whatever the heck you want to. A protein cheesecake vanilla. Protein icing. So legit. So good. And this is going to go on there. I'm going to show you what the end product is with everything on it. So, here we have that end product. Look at all those macro friendly gains. And so what we have here is the Jello, the vanilla cheesecake protein icing. A lot of this warm form. And some of this super macro friendly puffed Camet cereal as always. Serving size, one cup is only 50 calories and 11 grams of carbs, two grams of protein. It's thebomb.com.